Well, Burundi has uh, a lot of things have been done. With the entrance of uh, Burundi in the community, uh, maybe some people may have noticed that. Uh, in 2010, uh, quite suddenly, and at that time I was the, the CEO of the Burundi Investment Promotion Agency, and I understood that the entry of Burundi in the community in 2009 actually helped so many companies in the region to come and settle in Burundi. There's the time when we had banks such as KCB, CRDB, we had Cobil, we had Jubilee Insurance, DTB Bank, so many uh, companies from East Africa came to settle in, in Burundi. I uh, forgot about Azam also, Pembe of Kenya, and they created tens of thousands of jobs because uh, at that time, these companies felt now they were going in Burundi and enjoying uh, the same kind of treatment they have in their host countries. For us, the message was very clear. Uh, we were going to actually implement uh, uh, what we call the CET, the Common External Tariff, uh, which enables uh, a country in East Africa to export their goods, uh, meaning goods made in that ESC country, can be exported to another country without paying uh, duties. And you know duties can be very high. So countries within the community are given really a preferential treatment. ESC made goods can move from one country to another paying 0% of duties. And uh, of course, companies based in Tanzania or Uganda or Kenya knew they could bring their goods to Burundi. And uh, you know, the, that opening of the market was, was very interesting to them. And of course, uh, the Burundian side, uh, it was a great opportunity to provide jobs to, to so many people who are unemployed. But also, EAC as an institution has brought many projects in Burundi. I can name very quickly projects such as LVAMP, uh, LV Watsantu, with these uh, huge water supply treatments, treatment centers you have in Ngozi, Moyinga, and uh, Kayanza, you know, in that one, in that three, uh, water treatment uh, uh, center centers, we put more than 20 million US dollars. We have a new project to help actually to support agriculture called Markup, which we started last year. We have in Burundi also a number of uh, other projects. For example, for the Rumonge Rutunga Bujumbura Road, uh, we secured in November 2018 as ESC, we secured more than 70 million US dollars. And these are grants. These are not loans to Burundi, these are grants. It's money that Burundi receives, uses, does not pay back. In the health sector, we have been distributing here in Burundi more than 1.5 million doses uh, of vaccines every year. And these are really uh, vaccines which are needed mostly by children uh, to prevent some uh, communicable diseases. We have been supporting the medical laboratories. Uh, we have recently started deploying mobile laboratories, which will help actually some of the remote areas in Burundi to be able to enjoy uh, medical laboratory services. And uh, this is something uh, these mobile laboratories are being deployed in all ESC uh, partner states. Uh, we have now secured funds to create in Burundi, at the University of Burundi, the ESC Center of Excellence for Nutrition Sciences, and that is a project worth more than 20 million US dollars, and these funds have already been secured. In energy, we started in 2019 a project, a power interconnection project, uh, which involves the, the African Development Bank, uh, Regi Dezo, and uh, the Ministry of Energy and Mining of Burundi, and uh, these are funds which are signed by the East African community, and uh, it is 24.6 million euros. So the project now has started, and it is a grant again, so it's not uh, money that Burundi will have to reimburse, and it will help uh, set up transmission lines between Kigoma, uh, Tanzania, and Gitega, and then there will be a power station built in Ngozi, and also there will be some rural electrification, uh, you know, rollout. Uh, to selected villages in Burundi. We have also, uh, in the area of education, we have several universities in Burundi. 
which are already part of our network uh, uh, through the, the IUCA, which is the Inter-University Council of East Africa. It is one of our institutions. And uh, universities are assisted in many ways uh, to really try to align to the best quality standards and uh, to also improve curriculum and also to, en to enable mobility of professors. We have started as EAC now helping some professors go to other countries where they are needed. Okay. And uh, so these are things which are in place. Since uh, two or three years, uh, every single year, we have many, many students in East Africa mm -hmm. who get scholarships okay. for master's degree, for uh, PhD programs within the community. Yeah. We actually have just uh, two months ago welcomed new students, not even two months ago, it's actually about uh, one month ago, mm -hmm. new students from Burundi who came to the Nelson Mandela Institute uh, of Technology in Arusha, mm -hmm. where they, they are going to be students in our Center of Excellence in ICT. Uh, they are coming for mobile uh, technology systems, mm -hmm. and uh, that's a center which is very well equipped. You don't have many like that one in, in East Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, among the lecturers and uh, the people who support you have mm -hmm. South Koreans, Germans. Mm -hmm. So uh, we trust that uh, uh, that will uh, help Burundi mm -hmm. uh, really uh, acquire you know, some of these specialized uh, skills uh, that are needed by both the public and private sector. Mm -hmm. So we, we are doing many other things. I, I think I would be unable to name all the projects we are doing because you are, we are basically involved in uh, every sector uh, or almost every sector.